Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I will show you how to secure Exodus Wallet. So the first thing is when it comes to Exodus Wallet, make sure it's on, it's installed on the application or it's installed on your computer, right? And make sure on your computer that you have, uh, you know, no viruses, nothing else like that. So because Exodus Wallet is only as safe as the device that it's installed on. So make sure that your device is cleaned up, make sure it's safe, right? It's, and it, it will always be safe, right? If your device is safe and if you're just using it for, you know, Exodus Wallet or if you're just using it for your work, right? Now, if you're using it for something else, then don't put your Exodus Wallet on your computer. Now, what I would recommend is to have another computer that you just use for Exodus Wallet. You're not clicking on any links, you're not using it for anything else, just for your wallet, right? That way, that will be kind of like your cold storage, right? So right now, I'm going to pull up the article right here from uh, Exodus Wallet uh, themselves, right? And here is what you need to know about um, you know, tier one, tier two, tier three, and tier four. Now these tiers are basically, um, you know, security systems that will help you to secure your wallet, right? So tier one is the house of straw, how they call it, right? It's protecting your 12 word secret recovery phrase, right? So make sure to keep this phrase only on paper and you can write your 12 word phrase by hand only. Do not use a printer, right? Uh, because that way you can be used and you know that 12 word phrase can be copied by the hackers so make sure to not copy your private keys as you can see your private keys are similar to your 12 word phrase except they only allow access to certain assets right then you know number three create a unique and strong password for exodus right so make sure you have a strong password for exodus that's another way of how you can secure your exodus wallet uh, pretty self-explanatory, right? Keep your legitimate OS and your apps up to date, especially Exodus, right? So, uh, you know, make sure to keep it up to date. It's really easy to do that, right? Uh, then don't visit suspicious site or download material from untrusted or pirate sources. Now, this is number one way how to get hacked. Don't do that. You know, it, you will just get hacked. This happened to my friends. This happened to a lot of people I know. Uh, just don't click on any suspicious sites, right? It's, it's, it's not going to be worth it in the end, right? Uh, then as you can see, you can use a virtual sto virus total, right? To check links for security flags. This is great, uh, great uh, plug here from Exodus, right? So they will actually help you out with, you know, uh, securing your funds, right? Now don't boast about your crypto holdings. I think this is, you know, uh, especially publicly, right? So this is for YouTubers, right? Because many YouTubers have fallen victim two hacks because they broadcasted their holdings to the world and on top of that didn't take any necessary measures to protect themselves. So make sure to not do that. After these steps, you're protected against 50% of threats, right? You're still, you, you still need 50% more. So tier two is the house of sticks, right? So make sure to use an hardware wallet. So Exodus being a software wallet is only as secure as the device it's installed on, right? Just like I said on the beginning, and your security practices. And that's what we're addressing in this article, right? So you can use a Trezor wallet. Um, you can overcome all security vulnerabilities, right? Of software wallets. Um, and here you have, you know, two uh, Trezor wallet, you have Ledger wallet, or you have keepkey.com wallet, right? So you can buy these wallets and then, um, you know, these wallets will be like cold storage, right? This is one of the safest ways how to have your crypto stored. Now you can enable two factor authentication on all accounts. This is pretty self-explanatory. You can use Google Authenticator and make sure uh, to use a password manager. Now, what I would do, I would not use a password manager. I would just keep my password on a paper, right? And that's really, really simple, right? Now, you can also use a VPN and firewall. This, you know, is a little bit, uh, you know, complicated if you're not tech savvy, but uh, VPN is basically, you know, you can change your location so that hackers don't know where you currently are. Uh, and that way you are securing your uh, basically uh, location, you know, and you're securing your, uh, you know, uh, basically location. Yeah. Then five, you can use antivirus and anti malware programs and keep them up to date. This will just help you to see uh, if you have viruses or not. But if you use antivirus and if hackers are already on to you, right, then you won't be able to really recover anything. But this is great to have, right? It's really good to have. And then also keep your 12 word phrase safe, right? 
Um, now, as you can see, wait, didn't we already talk about 12 word phrase in the first year? You bet, your 12 word phrase is so important that it's worth mentioning twice, right? <laughs> so make sure to keep it uh, again safe. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, after these steps, you're 80% protected. If you want next, you need to go to tier three, right? Tier three is the house of bricks. This is, you know, where you are really safe, but you're still not as safe as you should be. Now, as you can see, bring your password management to the next level, change all of your passwords, uh, all the strongest type available, right? Um, now make sure to change it to the strongest type available and then make sure uh, to keep uh, and remember part of your passwords, right? You can also change your passwords once a month, which is also great, right? Then safeguard your network, right? Your network security settings are often overlooked when, it, when learning how to protect the device. Don't make a mistake of ignoring these settings, right? So as you can see, here are some of the ways that, you know, you can kind of see, you know, how to, uh, you know, enable VPA2 encryption for your Wi-Fi and all that good stuff. Now, as you can see, save your old backup link offline. As you can see, we typically don't suggest this, but you're a pro now, so you don't, you need a pro protection. If you create your wallet before February 2019 and you have chosen to receive a backup link, here are the steps you should follow below, right? Um, you can also encrypt your hard drive. You have a lot of different things here that they're talking about, but that's pretty much, um, you know, if you want to be really, really protected, right? And as you can see, they also have the Fort Knox, which is, um, right, the, the top level uh, way of how to protect yourself, which is top level password management, right? You can protect your, again, 12 secret recovery phrase offline, right, on a digital, or not on a digital, but an offline paper, right? A normal paper. And yeah, then you have a lot of different things here. Uh, you, you can have a computer dedicated just for Exodus. As I said, this is the safest way how to do it, right? And yeah, then you have a lot of other ways how to do it as well. Um, and yeah, I think the most important thing here to say to end this video off is to make sure that you're not clicking on any links. Make sure to have a computer or your phone just dedicated for Exodus wallet and then make sure to have, you know, two factor authentication. You can change your passwords monthly. I think this is the only way, only few ways how to keep you 100% safe, right? And make sure to know that you're not 100% safe uh, all the time. So that's pretty much it. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, then comment down below uh, what you learned something new in this video. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.